automotive garage and uh, we're bringing you a 2000 F250 7.3 that we just got done putting a whole bunch of time into for a customer. Um, when he brought it to us, it was white, paint was chipping off, full of dents, uh, didn't have a bed on it, a uh, whole lot of motor issues going on with it. So we started with that, uh, new blow plug relay, new injector harness, new glow plugs, um, new ICP sensor, new oil cooler, oil cooler was leaking real bad, new radiator, new hoses, radiator had a crack and it was leaking. Um, then we got out here, the full drive didn't work, so we had to go through and search through the system. We had uh, some chafed wires and some bad pins and some connectors, so we traced that down. We also converted it over to the more manual locking hubs, the original OEM automatic hubs weren't working anymore. Uh, we got Procop ES3000 shocks put on it. And we also have new Prothane, those red bushings down there, the new Prothane. Uh, sway bar bushings, got rid of the rattle that the suspension had in the front. Um, installed this iron cross winch bumper and a worn 12,000 pound winch. Uh, put a new grill on the truck, new headlights and amber lights, and everything's LED on the truck. We converted everything to LED, including the interior dome lights and the cluster lights. Um, put these Tiger step bars, these are uh, actually Amazon step bars. We got uh, sportsman seat covers. They're made in Mississippi, made in America. Uh, seat covers. You can see the LED lights up there. Um, we put a Bradford built 84 inch flatbed on it. And we welded the mounts up for that. We went through the rear end, resealed the chains all the way. It also has all new brakes around, new calipers, rotors, pads, everything. Uh, none of the trailer brake stuff works, so we rewired all that. Got the seven pin RV plug connector back here. And uh, put a new brake controller inside also. Um, had to drop the tank. The uh, sending unit didn't work anymore in the tank. And the filters were clogged up also, so we dropped the tank, put a whole new sending unit in it. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, we wrapped the truck. This is a Avery Dennison wrap. And I believe it's charcoal metallic. Yeah, so we, we put the Avery Dennison wrap on it, and uh, that's about it. We're about to go take it back, and, and the customer's going to take it home. So a good running truck. Just needed a little TLC put into it. Spent a couple hours detailing the interior up on it, too. Uh, also have the new Weston SureFit floor mats we all put in here. Just covered up some boo-boos in the carpet, so we get that covered up. But uh, looks real good. I think you'll be happy with it. I probably missed something somewhere, but just wanted to show you all the truck and the kind of work that we do.